Hello from California, this is Sandy from Messy Paper Crafts, your number one online store with the most exciting crafting items and welcome to this week's episode of What's in this box? But as you can see there is no box because I have so many things to show you. I already wanted to lay them all out here on the table because we have Alchemy of Art in the house and they have the most beautiful Christmas, Fall and Halloween releases. So let's get right to it. So here we have the 12 by 12 and that just gives you a quick overview of all the new releases that we have. So this one is called Ho 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 and it's the new Christmas release. So that's gorgeous and we will unpack the 8 by 8 in a bit. Here we have in autumn colors another beautiful release. Last year's one was already so special it was sold out very quickly and I hope that this is just as good. So we will see in a second. Here we have trick or treat that was also very popular last year. So hopefully once again we have a similar release. And also new in is steampunk time. And I'm very excited to see this because that looks gorgeous. And last but not least from the 12 by 12 paper pads is Whispers of the Mountains and that's completely new. I've never seen anything in this design so we'll have a look at this as well. But as you can see I have so much here on the table. I had to somehow create a little bit of space on all the things that I could show you so that you can also see that we not have this only in 12 by 12 but we also have this in 8 by 8 and then we have these cut out options for the yeah, self cutting or fussy cutting um, ephemera pieces that you can create. So lots and lots of things to talk about and how about we start here with the Halloween edition called Trick or Treat Happy Halloween. So let me open this up. And here we have 12 double-sided papers. So you get each of those twice. And in the bigger version, the 12 by 12, you will get six double-sided papers and one of those. So that really depends on what you want to create, but let's go through these. So here we have the cover and there you have already these really nice cutout options. And I just love this little bed here. Here you have trick or treat. That's really cute. Then here we have now two of each, as I said. And we have this beautiful design. And then we have this on the back. Then we have this here again, as I said. And then I love this here as well. Kind of orange and blue. Really nice little motifs here as well. And then we have little spiders on the back, really nice for Halloween. And then here another really nice motif on the front and spider webs on the back. Here we have yeah, greenish orange design. I love this as well, really mixed media. And then this on the back. And here we have this spooky house. And then here we have Boo, scary, eek, <laughs> and all of those. And then we have this here, really nice as well, and bats on the back. So I love all of these. So here we have now these cutout options. And here we have a little cover sheet where you have some fussy cutting elements. And then, as I said, we have more of these funny animals that are dressed up in costumes, like a little bunny in a witch costume. I love this here as well. This is really adorable. Then we have an angry bat here again. Funny little spider. Not too scary. <laughs> so this is really cute. And then on the other side you get this mirrored image. And then you have the option if the bunny looks this way or this way. So this is pretty cool. Then we have these really adorable elements here, the ghosts or the cat, that's really cute. More spider webs here with the ghosts, love those. Oh, this is really nice here as well. Little girl with the cat, really adorable. Then all of those are just ones, but again you have the mirrored images on the back. Here we have these elements, super adorable as well, the vampire or this crazy bunny or cat or whatever that is. <laughs> and a little mummy. This is also really cute. So I love the sizes here. They're really nice for art journaling and card making and so on. 
Then we have these cute elements. I love this ghost here as well, or this one. That's also very adorable. And then cute little pumpkins. And then this on the back. And then we have some yeah, little witch here. A panda bear that's dressed up as well. A really crazy spider, also really cute. And then some balloons and this cute little bed here as well. So yeah, if you like a cute Halloween, then this is for you because this is not scary. However, if you do want a little bit more spooky, then we have here the white lady. That's the same from last year, but it was sold out. And let me open this as well so that you know what to expect here. So this is on the front and as you can see it's a little bit more spooky, a little bit more ghostly and yeah it's called White Lady. So a little bit reminds me of uh, Supernatural. <laughs> if you have ever seen these first few episodes they had some kind of spooky um, elements there with this White Lady. So here you have some crypts and a skull. And then we have some flowers, some kind of darker flowers, so that fits well to Halloween. Oh, and here we also have something different on the bag, and this sheet is twice. And then here we have the spooky family, and here's this eye. And again on the back we have something different here, but therefore we have these sheets twice. So that's a little bit different. And if you like the more supernatural and spooky Halloween edition, then White Lady is for you. And what I also like are these single sheets that we have gotten in. And as you can see, this is just one sheet and this is called Portraits. And again, that could go either way. This could look a little bit spooky depending on what you make or also just retro because these portraits they're like really distressed they're a little bit like the Tim Holtz portraits that you can get in a package here you have to cut them out them yourself but I love this look I mean I don't know on first glance because it's so distressed it looks a little bit spooky but if you just take individual images for a vintage make then I think this is perfect and this is on the back so I absolutely love these and if you don't want portraits, but once again something that's a bit more cute, then this is also a single sheet. This is on the back. And here we have these kids. So they're also a little bit like Tim Holtz and like paper dolls. And I think this is really cute again for card making. If you want a more cutesy look, then you have these adorable little children here. So that really depends on whatever you make, a little bit more spooky retro vintage or a little bit vintage and cute with these children like paper dolls and next up i opened this already because i love it so much is in autumn colors or fall depending on where you are if you say autumn or fall and here we have this sheet on the 8x8 where you have these cutouts the cover sheet so i think this is pretty cool some things already for you to cut out and then once again you have these images or these papers here twice and I love the design, it's so pretty and then great backgrounds here as well and then we have this one, just really beautiful and then these pumpkins on the back I think this is really cute here as well with these kind of um, written calligraphy or letter overlay and then the very beautiful autumn colors here in orange and brown that works well together and another really nice background and then here we have this one very distressed and this beautiful yeah old vintage flower design here on the back then a cozy fireplace and really gorgeous leaves here on the back and then again this kind of written look I really love just love this mixed media design and then we have this distressed look here as well so i think these colors by um, alchemy of art they're just really stunning kind of bold but not too colorful it has this great distressed mixed media look i think this is so pretty and 
sheet fitting to this we have this here as well that's also one single sheet where again you can cut out these children in four looks and leaves and this is on the back so that's just one sheet but if you want even more cutouts then here we also have this fussy cutting element um, yeah, package. So here you will once again get six double-sided pages. So let me open this as well. So here again we have this tiny uh, cover sheet where you have some cutout options. And then we have these beautiful motifs here. So not twice like with the white lady, but here you get it once and then mirrored as well depending in which direction the motif should look or which side you prefer. Then here we have these really nice like sunflowers and gorgeous um, leaves here in this glass jar, sweater weather and all those things, mushrooms, <laughs> a cute little hedgehog. And then here we have this really cute child with the umbrella, some gnomes, more pumpkins of course. And then we have this sheet here as well. This is really cute here with the dog. And some boots and lanterns. So yeah, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love these colors. And then we go here to Christmas. So Alchemy of Art did such a great job designing something that's elegant and rustic and so on. So I will show this to you as well. So yeah, I cannot wait until these temperatures drop so that I get into my Christmas making mode because I promised myself that this year I will start a little bit earlier. But yeah, at the moment it's still so warm so it's funny to look at Christmas stuff. But here we have these really cute motifs on the cover sheet. I mean, look how adorable this little lamp is or this bunny here in the sweater. So cute. And as I said, this is called Ho Ho Ho. And very elegant, rustic, shabby chic. So it's kind of creamy, dreamy. And then this is on the back. So I love it that it's not very kitschy because sometimes I think if it's just this typical green and red, it can be a little bit, I don't know, old school. And here I kind of feel it's vintage, but also romantic. So I absolutely love this. And here we have this great background. And look how beautiful this dress here is. Absolutely adorable with the car. And yeah, it is kind of green and red, but I just think it's somehow elegant and not really kitschy. You can use it for many different makes, I would think. Look at this, this is so beautiful. 